Hello. Hello student. Today we are going to discuss what is the Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016. In short form, we call it ERA. Real Estate Regulation Act. The act came into force from 1 May 2016 with 59 of the 92 section notified. Remaining provisions came into force from 1 May 2017. This was done because most of the state were not prepared with the implementation of this act because this act required some prior establishment of some quasi-legal authority like regulatory authority. Every state should have one regulatory authority for implementation of this act. And this should also establish appellate tribunal for such cases which might arise related to this act while implementing the provision of this act. So, what is the status of RERA vis a vis the central and state and union government? The Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016 was passed by Parliament in March 2016 and a part of it came into effect on May 1st, 2016. However, 32 significant sections of the legislation from registration of ongoing project to penalties for non-compliance were not notified because the states were not prepared because they did not have the authority they did not have set up regulatory authority this was because this required an institutional framework to be in place first the state were given a year to set up this framework, namely the regulatory authority and appellate tribunal. These were the two authorities that every state should have set up, regulatory authority and appellate tribunal. That's why the Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016 came into full force from 1st May 2017. Act came into force in its full entity. However, even now, out of 29 states and 7 union territories, only Madhya Pradesh has appointed a regulatory authority. Maharashtra, Kerala, Punjab, Rajasthan, Delhi, Haryana, Mizoram, Chandigarh, Andaman, and Nicobar Island have not set up interim, had set up only interim regulatory authority while the rest of the state in maturity still are in the process of appointing one you can say constituting one if we remember in october 2016 the center had notified the rela rule herera rules that is real estate regulation and development act regulation act which were applicable to all union territory that didn't have their own legislature. The rules were also meant to be served as a template for a state to notify their rules. A state can make their rules based on the notified provision of the Act. Another 15 were prepared draft rules like Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Nagaland have sought legal opinion due to issues arising out of community land holding pattern because you know that in the hilly areas and mostly in the tribal areas the land is held by community not individual so there is some legal issues related to them that's why they are waiting for some special 
que es Why was there a need for such a law? If you recall, you might have heard a lot of cases of fraudulent real estate developers, in mostly in the case of Noida and Gurgaon. <coughs> Noida, Gurgaon, <coughs> and other big cities like metropolitan region of the Mumbai, metropolitan region of Bangalore because in those areas developers develop flats on a large scale and they sell and gain a lot of money. You will find that real estate industry is growing very rapidly is because they utilize the investors money and buyers money in buying another land starting another project without completing the project for which they had taken the money for which they had taken the finance and that's why there was need for a regulation and this regulation can be implemented only through a act which was passed first May. 2016 and which came into full force 1st May 2017 and the act is called Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016 Data from 8 major cities from the Real Estate Research Agency lies for us shows that over 80% of 25 life Old residential projects launched over the last 10 years have been delayed. I had discussed you why it is de delayed because they invest the money of the investor and the buyers in another project without completing the one for which they have paid. A quarter of these were delayed by the more than four year over the promised date of de delivery. The National Capital Region Delhi accounted for most delays, followed by Mumbai Metropolitan Region, Ahmedabad, Kolkata, Pune, Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Chennai, and uh, other cities. The house buyers, the buyers you can say, are faced where they are the receiving ends because they invested their life's earning into this project because they purchased a flat most of the real estate developers they take around 50 to 60 percent of the price of the flat before the completion of the project in different phase in the name of registration in the name of uh, project completion in the name of uh, signing some deed in the name of signing regist registered sale agreement so before finally signing registered sale agreement they take a large amount of the money from buyers this created a lot of problem home buyers were at the receiving end of such delays overcharging and other fraudulent practices of real estate developers have until now had no option but to watch their cases languish for years in overburdened consumer courts. Moreover, estates have had obscure and varying definition for terms such as carpet area, common area, car parking, floor area ratio, floor area index, living ample room, for manipulation by developers. The real law provided for series of safeguards to not only redress such situation but also to preempt them. At the level of the state, the regulatory authority and appellate tribunal must dispose of the cases within 16 days. So within two months, all the cases filed in 
appellate tribunal or regulatory authority should be disposed of which is really a very good safeguard provided to the buyers appeal to the high court can be made within 16 60 days the law attempt to end and uh, the non transparency which was prevalent in this real estate business builders of both new and ongoing project must mandatory register their project with the authority within three months real estate agents to have to register themselves with the authority within three months so not only the developer but the real estate agents who sell and purchase flats on behalf of the developers they have they also have to register what is the benefit for the home buyers this act will be applicable to all proposed and ongoing residential and commercial projects over a minimum area of 500 square or having eight flats inducing including projects outside urban area so this act will be applicable all over the state not only in the urban areas the developer cannot even market advertisement book sale or offer for sale any plot apartment or building without registering their project with the real estate regulatory authority of the state the registration can be revoked in the case of violation so the regulatory authority has the power to revoke the application if they are violating the norms like the if they are not providing the original approved plan for their ongoing project if they are not updating the alteration that are being made in the construction if they are not providing the revenue collected from LOT if they are not furnishing the detail how the funds are being utilized for the completion construction of the project So to safeguard this, the bank account of the project can be frozen and the money is to complete. So this act has a provision of a separate skill account for each of the project and it's mandated that 70% of the money from the investor and buyer should be deposited in that separate account for that particular project. So this will safeguard the buyers and if you ask what is SQU account so SQU account is a account maintained by third party so that it can have the security that no two party can alter it Builders have to mandatory disclose every detail of the project on the website of the authority and update them quarterly. Failure to do so can attract a penalty up to 10% of the estimated cost of the project. So it will be the 10% of the project cost. A repeated offender can be fined an additional 10% of the project cost and sent to jail for up to 3 years. Real estate agent and brokers too have to be registered. Non compliance with the order of the appellate tribunal by both broker and property buyers could attract a penalty up to 10% of the apartment cost or jail term of one year. So, there, here is defense the real estate broker will have a term of one year jail, and the real estate developer they will maximum will be three year jail term. In case of deliberate delay. Builder will have to pay the same rate of interest as they have levy on the defaulting buyers. The consent of the two third of the buyer will be required for builder to make any change in the original plan. 
इवन इफ द प्लानिंग बॉडी सेंसर्स द मॉडिफिकेशन 